So then, you know, I was listening to All Night Long, right? Mm. And I had to ask myself, do you need to be in love to put in that much effort to be with somebody all night long? Or could they just be bad? Because, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's that's a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take this jacket off. Because it's getting hot. bad for my health, but I can't help it. I know it's toxic when I'm breathing you in. Not gonna fight it because I want you to win. Now let you take over. Hey, what's up? It's your girl Sakara, and right now I'm with her in mind. Thank you for having the time today to meet with me to get a little bit into your music. Thank you. So I just want to start off with I was listening to your songs. I got a little bit of a Usher, Jodeci, you know, different vibes, influences. So I wanted to know, as an artist, which artists inspire you the most and why? All of them. Like, all of them that you just mentioned. Um, mm -hmm. I'm definitely a student of the game. Um, so, you know, I go back, you know, to the 90s and the 80s and, you know, even some artists from the 70s. Um, but predominantly, you know, the 90s, the, the 2000s. So, like, Brandy, Usher, um, Tank. Um, Brian McKnight, Voice of Men. Jo like you said, Jodeci. Um, Black Street. Um, Faith Ave Like, a lot. Just a lot of R&B acts. So... The essence of my music comes from them. And you know what? That explains it because it sounds so good. And Thank you. you're welcome. It's familiar yet original. Yeah. So I have to ask you, when did you start then? Because you know, going all the way back. <laughs> I mean, as a songwriter, I've been, you know, studying the game for such a long time. Like how to write a song mm -hmm. and like the key elements in order for people to really like appreciate the music. But also just keep it simple and and not overdo it like when i started music i was very overly poetic and putting too many words in the, in the song and shit but sometimes you just gotta right. like the easiest songs are usually the dopest songs you know what i'm saying that's like, true you got it bad it's not really like mm -hmm. the craziest song lyrically but you hear it is just you know you got it you got it bad like it's very simple very flowy you know right. and there's countless records like that you know, so once you start to study and kind of just understand how the human ear kind of works and the simplicity of music, you just, you know, it's, it's easy from there. And you know what? I totally agree with you because you're right. The catchier, the easier, yeah. the, the quicker. Everybody's quicker. like, I got it. Exactly. <laughs> you know? So with your name being her in mind, yeah. who is the special her or does she even exist? The special her is any her who's ever been in my life, you know? So that, you know, represents any female body, really. Like, wow. um, it could even be my mom, it could be my little sister. But, you know, in this oh, case, yeah. it, it, it represents anybody who I've dealt with of uh, the opposite sex, obviously, outside of my family. Um, and just different experiences, you know? So I can draw from every single person that I come into contact with you know like I can have a, a discussion with you and we can talk about several different things and I can grab ideas from you and I can make a song about it you know what I'm saying based on that experience so it's really you know who any her who I've come in contact with yeah. And I love the fact that she said that because I did notice as I was listening to your music, I was like, wow, he has different relationships, situations. Yeah. It's like, it's almost like, obviously you're young, I can tell, but it's like you've been alive for a hundred years or so. It's <laughs> like, you know, every single, you know, possibility, your friend, your girlfriend, yeah. the girl you just met, like, it was really intriguing to me to yeah. realize that, you know, you was pulling from so many different places. Right. So with that being said, um, I want to get into a little bit of your music because you did release an EP this year yes. and there were songs on there that really stood out to me. One of them being Reckless. Mm. I really, really like Reckless. Damn. <laughs> so I, I want to ask you about that. So you, you had a line basically saying you didn't even make it inside. Mm -hmm. So what is the craziest place you've been where you made love to someone? Mmm. We want to get into it. Today. Yeah, I'm like you know, let's just jump um, in it. Sheesh. I mean, there've been a handful of places, more than a handful, 
but um i definitely say the beach for sure um late night with the, with the moon out you know high tides nice. very erotic um where else in the back of a car while you know one of my friends is driving <laughs> um on a rooftop um overlooking the city um in the lobby or like people pressing by. wait what yeah. <laughs> daytime yes um where else in an auditorium um okay that one i could kind of see okay yeah you know uh where else I can't, I can't even think about all of it. Uh, nah, well, the that. beach definitely topped it. I was like, okay, now that's goals. I yeah, think every yeah, that should be on everybody's is, bucket list. Yeah, the beach is crazy. The beach is crazy. That's so. And, and oh yeah, in the rain, in the rain. Wait, out, okay, pause. Outside. 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 <laughs> on a rainy day. Yeah. Okay, a park? Like. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because yes. I'm like, park. you know, there's not many places we could. <laughs> yeah, a park definitely. I, okay, so basically you're living your best life. That's what's up. 100%. That's what's up. 100%. And that's what I actually like about your music because you go from every single situation, as I stated yeah. earlier, and I, I think that's the best. And then your music is really sensual, really romantic, as you guys can tell if you haven't heard it already based on these questions. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to ask you, have you been in love? Yes, I have. Okay. Definitely have been in love. Um, all right, let me... You know, because you get older, right. you get more, like, experienced, and then you talk to people who are twice as older, you know what I'm saying, than you, and you realize, like, what you thought was love. It's, it's love, right? But it's love in your mind at that time for the age bracket mm. that you're in. It's not, like, years of, you know, going through something, the ups and downs, you know, being able to withstand building a strong foundation it's not necessarily that type of deep love right. but it's still depth just as far as where you are in your life at that time so i was with uh my last uh girlfriend for like five years oh, wow. you know she yeah. was like my college sweetheart oh. so she was like my best friend as well you know what i'm saying so as far as that my mindset was like yo you know once somebody's your best friend there's a bond there that's right. damn near unbreakable you know so based on that the love only expand expanded from there you know but unfortunately like when you're still so young and you guys start to veer off on different pages of life right. that's when you kind of make that separation and and you have to allow growth to come into your space and your mindset. And unfortunately, we didn't, you know, meet eye to eye at a certain point. So we just decided to part ways or whatever. But um, yeah, at that time, I was definitely in love. That's pretty dope. Um, and actually, my follow up question was, what does love mean to you? But I see. Yeah. It depends it's on. Levels. Levels. Yeah, it depends yeah, on where you're at. And like. <laughs> yeah, it's def absolutely levels. You know, because I've seen with my parents have gone through um i've seen what very close friends um have gone through and it's not necessarily like my definition based on what other people it's just what i'm taking in as a result and what mm -hmm. i've experienced myself you know and i feel like love is 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 extremely deep it's not right. really just about the glitz and the glamour and the lovey-dovey phase and the honeymoon it's not that you know what i'm saying it's really like like loving someone like would you be able to forgive somebody if they did the absolute worst to you and you still be able to rock with them on a certain level not to the point where they're they take advantage of you right. but you know you you have that you have a sense of forgiveness you know and i think that's very hard to to ask you know what i'm saying that's very that's hard to answer way. i mean you know that's true so i think there's definitely absolutely levels to love so then you know i was listening to all night long right mm. and i had to ask myself do you need to be in love to put in that much effort to be with somebody all night long or could they just be bad because <laughs> you know what i mean like that's that's a lot <laughs> uh i'm gonna take this jacket off 
Because <laughs> it's getting hot. You don't need to be in love. You don't need to be in love. But I do feel like you do need a really dope connection with somebody. Okay. Um, because you know, intimacy is, is a very spiritual experience, and um, you know, I think in order for you to even be in that space where you're going for significant amounts of time. Mm-hmm. There has to be another level of connection where it's almost beyond you, you know, so because psychologically, a lot of men tend to be in their mind. Like, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to get, you know what I'm saying? Because you get overly excited because it's like, you know, you built up this anticipation. This is somebody that you really like and appreciate and respect. So once you get to that moment with that person, it's like, yo, I don't want to fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I want this person to be pleased. I know I'm going to be pleased. You know, so, you know, there's that nervousness, you tend to be in your mind. But once you're in the present, once you're in the moment, once you settle in and be like, this is where we are, you know, I, I, I see you, I feel you, I'm connected to you, then it's just like, it just keeps flowing. You know, there's a flow and you lose track of time. Right. You know, so, yeah. Okay, that's dope, that's dope. Thank you. <laughs> so, you know, I've asked you, these questions about your personal life right mm-hmm. but i feel like also your music is uh how do i put this it caters to women mm-hmm. and women really like advice people really like to you know hear what guys are thinking especially because a lot of times we can't figure it out from directly the person we're speaking with or to mm-hmm. so it, you know one of the things that i was thinking was you know if you sleep with somebody right away is that something that you think guys are like no, like I don't want to be with you after tonight, or is it you know varies to you? Um, I think that doesn't necessarily define the uh, extent of the relationship. I think it does vary mm-hmm. to some degree. Uh, I think most guys are of the mindset that you know if you sleep with a chick the same night, nine times out of ten she's not wifey material. Right. Um, but I just kind of think. As, as I experience more and I learn more, I'm like, that's kind of a closed-minded way to think about things, you know, because you, the, you, the vibe could be so lit with somebody that you do end up sleeping with the person the same night, but then that'll open up doorways to see that person's personality and, you know, how that person is on a regular basis, and you might find out, like, you really like this person, right? you know what I'm saying? And um, I just think it takes a certain type of person to really be able to look past just this moment or or that person's past and be like, all right, this is what we're doing. This is what it's going to be. I like you. And I think we should, you know what I'm saying? Take this to the next level. So it, it yeah. does vary. So, and looking back at where you were, let's say a year ago to where you are now, if you could give yourself any advice or any uh, piece of encouragement, what would it be? Um, keep learning, young blood. Keep learning. You know, I think that's really, especially in the music industry, um, you know, that's something that a lot of people don't necessarily take in, especially as artists, mm-hmm. you know, like understand um, the business or have people around you that understand the business more than you do so you can right. learn from them but not only learn from them but learn for yourself you know because this business is cutthroat you know and we're in a, we're in a new day and age of independence you know so it's important to know at least the very basics of how to make money the different ways to make money you know the different um, platforms um, you know uh, touring um you know like just just different things where mm-hmm. you can understand you know necessarily how to make money and and not get fucked over you know what i'm saying because unfortunately we're it is a business and i think a lot of artists kind of put the business mindset in the background right. and they don't, they don't necessarily like address it or think about it in that manner you know so i definitely just tell myself to just keep keep learning and I love the fact you mentioned that. Yeah. And artist development, too. Like, studio was, you know, I was a, a, a studio rat, you know, mm-hmm. so, like, I feel like I mastered that to a certain extent because I can always learn more, obviously. 
um but i i wasn't too seasoned and i'm still you know i'm still learning as i as i grow but um i wasn't too seasoned as far as like live performances and live shows mm -hmm. you know so that was that's one thing i would tell myself you know start practicing from now you know from you know like a year ago i would tell myself practice you know what i'm saying because you're gonna need it mm -hmm. when you're alive and you know stage presence is very important so yeah i would tell myself that too. congratulations though because i've seen you perform live and on point Thank i have you. to tell you, you sound exactly like your songs Thank you. I was like, wow, you're welcome. Thank you. So you mentioned artist development and branding as an artist. So uh, when did this mask come to play and what does this mean? Um, it came into play like the, the, the genesis of him, you know, it, um, and it all, you know, stemmed from her, uh, even the name, you know, her mm -hmm. in mind. It's, um, uh, what do you call it him is an acronym for her and mine you know and uh we saw this idea of the artist her and how dope you know this concept was from a right. female perspective you know so we decided to take that idea and, and and respond to it and not only respond to it but respond to it with a male perspective you know because right. we felt like she was or she is the voice of the women or the younger generation, you know? So why not do something that'll kind of combat or go, not necessarily go against it, but just give a different perspective on the same aspect, you know? So it's like two sides of the same coin. There's a, there's a her side and there's a him side. I like that, that was smart. I definitely think, like I was saying, when I listen to your music, it's like we want to know what guys are thinking, like your right. thought process. Yeah, so that, so that was our goal, really. That was our goal. That our goal was to create that conversation, you know, because you hear the, the, the type of concepts and the stories that, that she's saying in her music, you know, but, you know, guys, as much as we don't, as we don't uh, necessarily show it, but we have emotion as well, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, and it, it just takes the right one to bring it out of us, you know? So I just wanted to show that side. Like, you know, we, we can't be afraid to be vulnerable. You know, we can't be afraid to like really speak your mind and, and tell a woman how you feel. Cause you know, communication is, is key, you know, in order for you to really like flourish in any relationship, especially dealing with a woman, you just have to be communicative and be able to express like yo nah i don't like this or i like this you know or you feel this way i feel this way so we don't have to agree to disagree or compromise right. or whatever and i think that's um really dope because a lot of guys it's hard for them to say how they feel unfortunately i'm still working on it i'm still working on it you know i'm still a work yeah. in progress you know but um i do have it in the back of my mind that you know that's something that needs to be done because women are very emotional creatures Extremely. and you have to meet them at the level i mean not you're not gonna meet them on the level but you ask you have to be in the same space as them in order for you to even get through to who mm -hmm. you're speaking to you know like what mm -hmm. do you how do you feel like is this what you want no all right cool and a lot of guys honestly truth be told i'm giving out gems you know they don't necessarily um say the entire truth because they don't want to give up the you know the goods right so they don't say it 100 percent. they might say 99.9 .9 enough to give you enough truth but enough for you to stay you know what i'm saying and sometimes that shit backfires you know? i definitely because we could tell we could tell most of the time most of the time most yeah of but the time. i do get away with it <laughs> so, you know what i'm saying so you know, you know it, it it depends it all, it all varies it's it's a game and i love it so how do you prepare in the studio? Because, I mean, you guys can't tell, but it smells amazing in here. I mean, you know, we got the African oils. No. Yo, for real, though. Like, but theirs is better. <laughs> <laughs> you know, candles are lit. And yeah. I can tell now, after having this interview with you, that when you make your songs, there usually is a special girl in mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For sure, for sure. At, at some, like, I pull from different experiences. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And even... Um, when we are in the studio, like we always have discussions, 
you know, like me and my team, like we literally just sit down and talk, you know, and I could just be like, yo, I was just talking to this girl and we was talking and she said this, then the third. And we like, yo, that's a crazy concept. We should write, you know what I'm saying? Or you, somebody else would come in and be like, yo, let me tell you what this chick was telling me the other day. Boom, 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 boom. And be like, yo, we should make that. We should turn that into something. What is, you know what I'm saying? Right. What, what does that mean? How can we flip that and turn that into a song that everybody will fuck with? You know, so that's, we just do that all day. We just that's literally fire. just talk. And then based on that con- on that um, conversation, we'll, we'll create a song. Like the other day, like we went down to um, the bar next door and we just had a conversation for like an hour or two, oh, you know, dope. and then we ended up coming out with a song called Love Language, you know, and, and, oh. and literally expressing like what what's your love language? You know, how do I get across to you in order for it to make sense? You know, but we were using the um the symbolism or metaphors mm-hmm. of you know talking to somebody okay you know what i'm saying and um yeah that was just like one example but we have a ton of examples you know i made another song i'm not even gonna get into that it's just, that's just no i story. love it though but, i love yeah, it there's like a hundred there's like a hundred <laughs> uh stories i got but so you know as you being the artist i listen and you're the artist yeah love me like you hate me can, yes. can i please have your personal interpretation <laughs> of what you mean by that because i was speculating and i was like you know what i need to know the answer ah. <laughs> honestly nobody knows this but the original was fuck me like you hate me. oh see i was going in the right direction yeah the original okay. original the first one was fuck me like you hate me. Were you guys thinking about the radio edits? Was that what happened? Yeah, yeah we had to clean it. We had to clean it. It's too spicy. It was too spicy. Like, we had to clean that up. Like, hold on. That's a little too aggressive, King. Okay? But, you know, so we had to slow down on that and just, you know, love mm-hmm. me like you hate me. And, you know, it was, just, it was just one of those concepts where it's almost like a makeup sex song. You right. know, it's like there's certain things that you you may be... Uh, talking to your significant other about that you may not like that he or she does and it turns you off or it, it gets you upset you know to mm-hmm. the point where you guys are going back and forth and you just got you guys get over emotional right. but then you just like fuck it come here and then it just turns into like an aggressive kind of experience and it's 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 passionate you know what i'm saying it's it's super just intense Right. And it was just one of those songs, you know, and I've had that personal experience before. So it was just one of those songs. It was just flowing through me. That's dope. You know? So, yeah, that's how that one came about. That's fire. We see it on TV. Now we get to hear it. Like, that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what's next for you? If you had to guess or if you could give us a uh, preview as to what you already have. Uh, just working on visuals. Right okay. now we're absolutely working on visuals. You know, we... Um, but in like less than a year we put out three different projects you know what i'm saying with you know him volume one um him volume two and mm-hmm. now about last night um make sure you go get about last night shameless plug Fire. all social media um, i mean all uh all platforms uh itunes spotify go get that but yeah so you know we put out these projects and we have like over 21 records out and not enough visuals so we mm-hmm. just decided like all right let's just slow down on the music for a second we right. gave enough we're giving enough content out so let's put you know uh, a face quote unquote to the music you know nice. so you know that's what we're kind of just focusing on at, at the present moment so okay. prepare to uh see some visuals really, really soon all right i can't wait what's good everybody this is him aka her in mind and you are rocking with your girl sakara and go to her website sakara.com not gonna fight it cause i want you to win not let you take over cause i really want your love to inject me no i ain't trying to take no vaccine and just spread it all over me